welcome to our whitening content. I feel like this is the most comprehensive source of information on the internet about tooth whitening. So it tells you all about the different products, it's what's cost effective, what really works, debunking any myths and the safest ways to do this so you don't end up damaging your teeth. So teeth whitening can be dangerous if you don't do it properly. So it's really important we look into the safety of tooth whitening. We're going to be looking at different products that you can buy from shops, that you can get from your dentist and even touching on legal and illegal ways that you can whiten your teeth. Okay, so if there's anything that you want to ask us or you want to say, leave it in the comments box below. You might be worried about the colour of your teeth. You might be thinking, why are my teeth not bright white? Is there something wrong with them? Am I not brushing them correctly? But the fact is that not everybody's teeth are bright white. Natural teeth are in fact a yellowish tinge. Um, so don't be worried if your teeth aren't white. It doesn't necessarily mean that they're not healthy. Also, things like tea, coffee, staining and diet um, can change the colour of your teeth. Your teeth can become yellower with age. Um, and if you have any trauma to a tooth, if you need knocks and bumps can turn a tooth dark as well. So there's several factors as to why your teeth may not be bright white. Um, if you are considering whitening your teeth, definitely go and see your dentist first, go and have a proper checkup done, make sure there's no underlying conditions in your teeth. They may be able to give you a scale and polish, or your hygienist may be able to give you initial cleaning of your teeth so you can then reassess the colour of your teeth. So if you do want to go ahead and whiten, they'll then be ready to whiten. If you have any questions when you do go to your dentist, don't be afraid to ask them, your dentist is there to help you. If you're looking for whiter teeth, it's probably best to go and visit your dentist, make sure that your teeth are healthy in the first place, take some basic advice from your dentist and see what they say. Sometimes stain removal is one of the first things that you can do, making sure that you're brushing your teeth effectively, uh, make sure that you're brushing your teeth twice a day regularly, flossing your teeth and using the good whitening toothpaste as well. You can go and see your dentist for some professional stain removal like a hygiene visit and if you still feel you want to whiten your teeth after this we would recommend uh, professional custom made trays for tooth whitening. The cost of professional teeth whitening or bleaching can vary quite considerably. Prices can start at around about £100, but can be as much as about £700. At the higher end of the scale, that generally includes some in-surgery time, often with the addition of a laser. The added cost comes often as a result of actually taking up a chair in a dental surgery and requiring more time of the dental professional. You'll also find an influencer in the cost of the whitening process can be the brand of teeth whitening that you go for. There are a number of unbranded and perfectly safe teeth whitening options, but there are some major brands that exist within this space, and as a result they charge a premium for the brand identity and the treatment that comes with it. You'll also find price variation can exist depending on where you live in the country. So whilst this doesn't always apply, typically the likes of big cities like London and Birmingham may be more expensive than getting your teeth whitened if you live in the rural hills of Wales. The actual dentist undertaking the whitening can also have a bearing. If they're a very experienced dentist with a lot of high-end customers, then they're likely to charge more than a newer but equally trained dental professional. It's the laser whitening that requires time in the chair that is generally more expensive. So if you're looking for a more cost effective option, then you want to go for the unbranded dental professional provided custom molded trays with gels that you can take away and whiten your teeth at home. Even many of the premium brands that offer teeth whitening and laser whitening included still require you to use custom molded trays and gels at home as part of the treatment plan anyhow. There's can even be quite a big cost difference in the trays. Essentially, as long as the trays are fitting well to your teeth, they're custom made and they're not sort of loose, um, then essentially they will do the same job. And um, the gel that we use in this country is either hydrogen peroxide or carbon mild peroxide. The maximum percentage that you can have is 16% carbon mild peroxide or 6% hydrogen peroxide. So as long as they're within these boundaries, um, they're all gonna do more or less the same job. Once you've whitened your teeth, how long they stay that colour will depend a little bit on you, your diet and your lifestyle. 
The colour can actually last for a few years if you have a relatively light diet. However, for most people, they'll find they want to top up their colour every couple of months. To top up your whitening, you will need to purchase more gel. The costs do vary, again, depending on the brand of whitening that you've gone for, but typically they can start from as little as £5, perhaps the average cost is 20 and as much as 40 or £50 for new gels to keep your trays topped up every few months. So you'll have that initial cost that may on average be around about £150 to £300 for an unbranded option of teeth whitening, and then every two to three months you may need to spend about £20 to pick up a new gel to use with your trays and top up your whitening. Okay, so how long does tooth whitening last? It's one of those things, how long is a piece of string? It depends on how well you look after your teeth after you've whitened them. And as long as you keep your um, whitening topped up by whitening your teeth using your custom made trays one or two nights a month, um, that will help to maintain the color of your teeth. So as long as you um, don't have lots of uh, things that stain teeth like curries and red wine and teas and coffees and you brush your teeth relatively well your teeth will always maintain a lighter colour than what they were before. Obviously with time you will come across these stained foods and you may have some gum disease you may lack in brushing sometimes so they may dull down in colour but they should never really go back to the colour they were before for years and years. So if you forget to top up your whitening gel um, every month or you don't do it, you can always go back up, um, back on it after a year or even a few years. The key is to keep your trays, your custom made trays, nice and safe and then you can always go back to your dentist or a um, professional outlet to buy some more of the gels and you can always sort of re-whiten your teeth or even re-go through the course of whitening your teeth for a week or two weeks to get them back up to um, a good shade. Tooth sensitivity is an issue for some people when they do tooth whitening. Um, in the past, in this country, you could get up to 35% hydrogen peroxide. for tooth whitening, um, but that is now banned due to high incidences of tooth sensitivity. Tooth sensitivity feels like an electric shock type pain inside your teeth. Um, it can be more prominent when you're having hot, cold or sweet things, or maybe when it's a cold day, you're going for a walk and the cold air hits it. So when you're whitening your teeth, the tooth sensitivity is transient. So it's whilst you're whitening your teeth and a few days afterwards, but don't worry, your teeth will go back to normal over a period of time. You get tooth sensitivity because um, teeth are dehydrated, so as the oxygen is then returning back to the teeth and your teeth are rehydrating, you can get that sharp shooting pain. If you are whitening your teeth and you experience tooth sensitivity, it may be a good idea to use a sensitive toothpaste. One thing that you can do is whiten your teeth, but um, for a period of time actually put some of that sensitive toothpaste inside your trays and wear it um, um, inside your trays on your teeth. It gives the toothpaste prolonged contact with your teeth and helps to get rid of some of that sensitivity for you. Is teeth whitening safe? Um, if it's done through your dentist and professional, then it's completely safe because we'll make sure that your teeth are in good condition, they're nice and healthy, and, in, um, and they are able to receive tooth whitening. Um, you have to make sure you don't have any conditions on your, with your teeth and um, just really have a checkup and ask your dentist for advice. And so you should do this no matter which type of tooth whitening, whether it's a custom made trays that you have them through your dentist, or even whether it's a whitening toothpaste or over a counter kit. Just double check and get some advice from your dentist. On the internet, you might find some great deals um, and you might be attracted to them, but what I'll say is don't take any risks with your teeth. Be careful of buying over the counter products or things with fad words on them, like saying dentist approved. If there's anything that's less than a hundred pounds or less than about 90 pounds or so, I'd say you're not going to a proper dental surgery, not seeing a professional dentist with a GDC number. then that should ring alarm bells. So things that you can look out for are things like a GDC number, see what their experience is, um, ask for reviews, see what are the patients or what are the clients that they have done tooth whitening for and make sure that they're happy with their teeth. So just go with your instincts and make sure that you stay safe with your teeth.
You might ask, why is tooth whitening such a confusing topic? I mean, there's so many facets to it. Um, results can vary from person to person. So if you do it and your friends do it you, and use exactly the same products because of the way that your teeth are, you may actually end up with different results. For example, if you're young or old or you smoke or your diet, all of these things make such a difference in tooth whitening. Some adverts can be misleading because it makes it look like you're whitening your teeth through their products, but in fact, they're just lifting the surface stains from your teeth. You may find that tooth whitening is quite a confusing topic. Um, people usually get confused between stain removal and actual tooth bleaching. Imagine you've got a red t-shirt and you get mud on it. When you wash it, the t-shirt is still red, but you remove the stains. So this is when you've got stains on your teeth through things like red wine, tea and coffee. When you go to see your hygienist, they may remove the stains, but your baseline color of your teeth will still be the same. If you wanted to change the baseline colour of your red t-shirt, you'd have to go through a chemical process like um, dyeing it to change the colour and it's a similar thing with your teeth. So if you wanted to change the baseline colour of your teeth, you'd have to go through a bleaching process. We're going to be explaining the difference between the two. So which products are abrasive and they're actually removing the surface stains from your teeth and which ones are actually changing the baseline colour of your teeth and actually physically bleaching them. Just like to highlight that there are different laws around whitening in the UK and in the US. So in the US, you're allowed to have stronger ingredients in products bought online and over the counter. So in the UK, the strength of whitening ingredients is less for safety reasons. For this series, we're going to be focusing on primarily UK products. There's several different um, whitening kits on the market. This is an example of one um, that's a custom made tray by your dentist, as you can see, fits on very nice and tightly to your teeth there. And um, you can see the indentations on each tooth. Um, it's not going to be falling out and it has really good close, close contact with the gel. This is one that you can buy online. Um, as you can see, if I take this one out, it's Couple, you know, kind of a similar shape there, um, but the difference really is that this one doesn't really have good contact with your teeth, it's quite loose, you're meant to, with this particular one, put it into water, and it comes out looking a little bit like this, so again, even though you've kind of customised this at home, it's not really great in, in the shape of it, certainly you can't see any indentations or clear demarcations of any teeth. Um, with the gel, so this is a professional gel and this is um, a gel bought online. Um, the gels bought online don't really have any um, hydrogen peroxide or carbamide peroxide in there which is the active agent in tooth whitening gel. Um, if anything, um, they might have some acidic like citric acid content in there or maybe some coconut oil. Really if you wear this inside these loose with fitting trays that they're provided with, um, they can end up causing some amount of damage perhaps or maybe if you end up ingesting it so certainly they'll only have minimal whitening effects if any because they might remove some extrinsic stains on your teeth by um, any acid, acidic effect that they have but certainly they won't have any whitening effect on your teeth um, whereas the custom made trays with the um, peroxide gel will definitely change the base shade of your teeth and have a good whitening effect. Okay, so these are a range of whitening systems and different trays. Um, as you can see, these are the custom made um, trays that I've made for one of my patients. You can see that they are very, very close fitting, um, molded for each tooth, and they are not loose. They Once they're on, they're quite nice and tight. Um, so things for you to check yourself is the scalloped edges. So make sure they're comfortable around your gums and that you can see each tooth indentation, which you can see in this, um, in this case over here. 
Um, these are used with the Correct Gel, which, cor which contain 16% um, carbon peroxide in this case, because this is polar night, um, but you do get daytime syringes as well with hydrogen peroxide in there. These are some of the ones that we've trialed. So this is the bright one. We tried that a little bit earlier. And as you can see, you dip it in hot water, you mold it to your teeth, you get some sort of indentation, but really generally it was still quite loose fitting. And I'll try it on here. Um, it's not really very much holding it in. It works with this gel, which doesn't really have any hydrogen peroxide in there. Um, maybe some acid, um, might acid, acidic effect to uh, remove any extrinsic stains. And it comes with this light over here, which is an LED light, no different than probably some sort of um, ceiling light that you might have at home. It may work in terms of drying your teeth out, um, dehydrating them. and maybe some sensitivity due to the heat, although LEDs don't really have a lot of heat, so probably just more the dehydrating effect. Um, but I can't see that that's um, you know, well molded or easy to use at all. The next one's down there, the high smell, it's very popular, but these are not moldable at all. This is really quite a large tray, um, lots of chance for the gel to mix in with your saliva for you to actually swallow the stuff. Fits like this, again, very easy for that to sort of fall out and for it to move works with a small light once again um, but certainly no not very molded to the teeth and the last one is this teeth whitening pen by yes smile um, so this comes with a pen with some percentage of hydrogen peroxide it doesn't say what percentage really but it's probably a very very low percentage um, you literally paint this onto your teeth and then you put this UV light over the top. UV light itself can be quite dangerous and we use it in practice. Um, as a dentist we always put an orange light guard over it um, but for you to use at home do be careful with your eyes because it sort of can be dangerous especially with young children um, and especially if you're looking at it every day um, which is what it sort of advises you to do to use it on a regular basis. There's different ways that you can whiten your teeth through your dentist. You can have custom made trays made where you go to see your dentist, your dentist will take some molds of your teeth and the molds are then sent to a laboratory to have some trays made that fit your teeth only. They are custom made so that each tooth fits inside the mold and they fit really nice and snug. Um, you are then given some gel and you tend to wear these trays over a two week period or longer to have a gentle, um, gradual whitening effect of your teeth. Um, you can have another type of whitening through your dentist as well, which is like an in-surgery or a laser whitening. Um, an in-surgery whitening or a laser whitening is where you go to see your dentist, you book an appointment, usually about an hour or so, um, and then you come and sit in the chair and the dentist actually applies the gel on the teeth for you, um, with or without a light. The light does tend to dehydrate your teeth. Then when you have your teeth, um, your mouth open for a long period of time, um, again, you get dehydration and you can get some sensitivity as well. Um, when you have in-surgery whitening, you must be aware that the colour change will settle over the next couple of days. So even though after you've had your teeth whitened, they may seem really nice and bright and white, um, over the next few days, you'll find that your teeth will rehydrate and the colour will certainly settle by a couple of shades. You've now find that the laser whitening isn't really as popular with dentists because in fact the light isn't found to have any major effect on the tooth whitening um, process. It's more the concentration of the actual whitening gel um, and the good contact with your teeth that makes a difference. There's some methods that you can use for natural tooth whitening. So these are some home remedies that people might come across, things like brushing your teeth with charcoal or using sort of lemon and salt on your teeth, um, oil pulling or turmeric um, mouthwashes. They will probably not do as well as using a good whitening toothpaste. The chances are that your toothpaste will contain fluoride in it. Fluoride is something that's really good for your teeth. It helps to strengthen your teeth and get rid of that sensitivity as well.
Natural home remedies, I would say um, probably you can try them for a short period of time, but there's nothing really there to say that they're going to work for over a long period of time. In fact, they can end up damaging your teeth, especially using things like acidic things on your teeth. Um, and the other thing is that there are no clinical studies to show that they'll actually change the baseline color of your teeth. How can you prevent stains on your teeth in the first place? The key is really good oral hygiene, so make sure that you're brushing your teeth twice a day at least, making sure that you've got a good tooth brushing technique, make sure that you're brushing sort of next to your gums and the whole surfaces of your teeth, flossing your teeth as well. So that in itself will make sure that you've got a healthy mouth and your teeth are as clean as they possibly can and your shade of the teeth are as white as they possibly can be. The other thing that you can do is have a light coloured diet, so avoid coloured foods like beetroot, curries, um, red wines and lots of bolognese, amongst other things. You've got to think that if you can stain a white shirt, it can also stain your white teeth as well. Have regular checkups because you may have sort of traumatised teeth that are discolouring um, or old fillings and things as well. Um, you must be aware that um, old fillings can discolour but tooth whitening will not change the colour of your existing restorations. Okay, so one of the myths that you can come across is that yellow teeth are unhealthy. This is untrue. The healthy teeth do have a yellow tinge to them um, naturally. So don't think if you have yellow teeth, they're necessarily unhealthy, but definitely go and see your dentist and see what options there are for you. So a myth is that um, the laser whitening is better for you. This is not the case. At home trays work just as well and can be safer and give you a more gradual, gentle result for your whitening. A lot of people think that once they whiten the teeth, that's it, the teeth are going to be white forever. This is not the case. Once you whiten your teeth, you might more than likely will see your teeth will drop down a shade or two. And as you return to your normal diet, have teas, coffees, red wine, you may find that your teeth dull over time. Don't worry, if you have a home tray, you can reapply the gel within your tray and you can start whitening your teeth again. Or just keep it topped up for one or two nights a week to maintain the colour of your teeth. So another myth is that sucking lemons is good for your teeth and it'll give you a whiter result. Um, this is really bad for your teeth. Please do not do this. The acidic content is really high on lemon um, and it can melt away the outer enamel layer of your teeth. It can cause tooth sensitivity and irreversible damage to your teeth. So do not suck lemons to get a whitening effect on your teeth. Another myth is that kits, strips and toothpaste bought online or bought from shops is exactly the same as what we provide to you as a dental professional. This is not the case. Legally, things bought from a shop or online can only have 0.1% hydrogen peroxide in there. Hydrogen peroxide is the active agent that actually whitens your teeth. When you come to the dentist, your professional will give you um, custom-made trays with more than likely 16% carbide peroxide or 6% hydrogen peroxide. This is 60 times more powerful at whitening your teeth, so you're more than likely to have a better result when you come and see your dental professional. Okay, so many people think that natural methods or at-home remedies are better than actually coming to see your dentist to whiten your teeth. This is not the case and it can go horribly wrong if you do it for too long. Um, things with an acidic content can um, damage your teeth irreversibly and abrasive agents can also damage your teeth irreversibly. You don't want to go down this route, so please go and see your dentist to have safe tooth whitening. We'll be going through some facts for you now. A scale and polish is one of the best ways that you can actually remove stains. This is absolutely true. When you go and see your hygienist or dental professional, they will um, do a professional scale and polish. This cleans all the extrinsic stains of your teeth. And this is not damaging your teeth at all and gives you a much better um, result for removing any extrinsic stains there are on your teeth. Another fact is that you can keep your teeth white using your diet. This is absolutely true. So if you have a light colored diet, so you avoid things like red wine, you have white wine instead, have a carbonara instead of a bolognese, um, you choose sort of mayonnaise instead of ketchup. If you avoid colorants in your diet, then you can certainly help to keep those colorants off your teeth and keep your teeth looking lighter for longer.
there's a fact saying that it's only your natural enamel that whitens. So any fillings that you have, any um, front fillings, veneers, porcelain, they do not whiten. So it's only your natural enamel that has the chemistry that can actually change color using the hydrogen peroxide. Anything else you may have to have changed or um, have a plan for once your teeth, your natural enamel changes color because they may not match at the end of your treatment. Say if you've chipped your front tooth and you have a filling on the front tooth um, and you decide to whiten your teeth, you'll find that your own natural enamel will change colour, but in fact that filling will remain the same colour. So you must go and see your dentist to have a plan as to what to do. Perhaps after you've whitened your teeth, you may need to change the colour of that filling to have a lighter colour to match your new lighter teeth. Another fact is that you can control how white your teeth will go with home whitening. So if you go into an in-office whitening session, you have a certain amount of whitening done over a period of an hour or so, and when you come out, you have no control over how white your teeth will go. At home, you have custom-made trays and you whiten your teeth gently over a period of time. So you can check the color of your teeth every day and say if you don't want to go too white, you can stop whenever you're happy. UK products are different to US products and we will cover that in a separate video. So not everything that you buy online is real. Um, some are fake, some are illegal. So really you need to look out for the hydrogen peroxide content, have a really good look at the ingredients and make sure that you're doing safe tooth whitening. So legally you'll find that you can't buy high strength gels online. The highest you can buy is 0.1% hydrogen peroxide. Anything higher than that has to be dispensed from your dental professional. Some things that you may not know about tooth whitening um, is that certain teeth can have certain conditions like tetracycline staining. Or if you had antibiotics when you were very young, your um, enamel and your teeth may be a slightly different colour. It may be banded or grey or very discoloured. In these cases, you may have to whiten your teeth over a longer period of time because you have altered enamel or um, you may have things like enamel hyperplasia where your teeth are patchy, they've got white patches on your teeth. Um, you can whiten your teeth to try and even out the difference. When you are whitening your teeth, you may find that those white patches become um, really, really sort of fluorescent and extra white, but don't worry, um, at the end of the treatment, they will then settle back down and the background color will be lighter, so there's less of a difference, if any difference, between the two. Um, you can also have further treatment to these areas if you need to at the end of whitening. Other things are things like front fillings, veneers and crowns that you might have on your front teeth that actually don't whiten in colour. So in fact it's only your natural enamel that whitens in colour and if you decide to have tooth whitening done then you may need to change these fillings, veneers or crowns to match the new white colour of your teeth. Um, if your teeth are cracked, chipped or root canal treated um, they may also have a different whitening um, level than the rest of your natural teeth um, and also look out for cavities in your teeth. Certainly you don't want to be whitening your teeth and getting the bleach inside the cavities so make sure you go and see your dentist, make sure you have a safe tooth whitening procedure. Mm -hmm.